I'm Eric Nazi with NewShooter.com, and I'm at CES 2019, and I'm with Patrick here at DJI. How's it going, Patrick? Uh, it's busy. It's busy. Thanks for stopping by, though. There's like uh, what, almost 200,000 people going to come rushing through your booth. <laughs> it feels like that. <laughs> so we have a new, a new remote or a new controller for... Uh, yeah, so this is our DJI Smart Controller. Uh, so we launched that this morning, uh, and essentially this is a remote controller designed for, right now, the Mavic 2 system. So Mavic 2 Pro, Mavic 2 Zoom. Yep. Uh, so what's really cool about this is now that we're trying to take your dependency away from having a smartphone uh, controller system. Uh, so normally if you wanted a really bright screen like this, you'd have to use the Crystal Sky, uh, you use the remote controller, and then you have a mounting system, you're all wired up. This puts it all into one simple package. Um, and this is a 5.5 inch screen, uh, built in. It's uh, ultra bright, so it's designed for use in uh, conditions that are super bright. So if you're shooting broad daylight, I know if you fly drones, uh, you, you, so many times you're, you're, you're leaning in, you can't really see. Um, this alleviates a lot of that pressure. Um, and it's got, I think the output is about 1,000 nits, so that means it's the similar oh, to the great. crystal sky, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, as far as functionality, are you getting an improved performance from this, or is it pretty much the same you're getting all the same stuff. You get anything extra? Um, well, yeah. So we actually added a few features. One of them is called SkyTalk. So it goes through the DJI Go, and what it does is you can actually stream, which is really cool. Uh, you can stream uh, the camera feed to social channels. So if you're on Facebook, Instagram, WeChat, uh, people can actually experience what your, dr your what your drone is seeing, uh, and that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's um, cool. But in terms of performance, uh, it still uses the same OcuSync 2.0 technology uh, found in the Mavic 2. Uh, so it's very similar performance. It's just a little bit easier to access all this. Uh, in, uh, and but what you get is a, a portal controller, built-in screen, it's ultra bright, uh, but it's also a customizable Android dashboard. Uh, and why that's important is um, not only will it run DJI Go 4, which is used to control the Mavic 2 uh, standard systems, uh, but soon it'll run DJI Pilot. So if you're an enterprise consumer uh, using flying the Mavic 2 Enterprise or Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual, uh, you'll be able to operate that. Um, and you can also drop in third-party software. So if you want to drop in some editing software, um, you have the ability to do that with this guy. And is battery life uh, similar to what you were getting before? Because now you got to drive that that really bright screen. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. So battery life on this guy is about two hours, two hours, 15 minutes. Um, so it's give or take. Uh, charge time is actually rather quick. Uh, I think it's about an hour, uh, thanks to a quick charge motion on it. Uh, and it's all done through uh, USB-C on the back. Uh, battery is built in, so, so it's not a swappable battery. So you're going to use this to update as well, send updates, uh, firmware updates to the to the drone as well. Yeah, it's very similar to like the original RC. Uh, and this is updated. also firmware updatable. Absolutely, yeah. And future firmware uh, will update with uh, um, DJI Pilot to use with the enterprise products, uh, and then so we're consistently trying to improve it like we do with our other products. Now, is this a product that you think that well, did people ask for it? I mean, or is this something that you guys thought, you know what? Let's let's kind of let's get away from the smartphone and the tablet. Yeah, that's that's a really good question. Uh, actually, so so when you look at people that fly a lot, um, you know, a lot of them rely on their smartphone. But if you are a dedicated flyer and you do this, you make money off of this. A lot of times, people buy a dedicated uh, tablet or iPad um, just because you're not relying on your smartphone anymore. Uh, so we kind of took that concept, uh, reliance on something like that, and just built it in so that again, this way you don't have this clunky setup. It's all here in one simple package in a very bright screen that's not normally found on the tablets. I mean, the Mavic line, Mavic 2, I mean, these are these are being used professionally. They're, they're, yeah. These aren't just, you know, something to go and hang out with, fly around a, a park or something. These are these are used as a professional tool, and that kind of solves that, maybe that yeah. problem a lot. Absolutely, yeah. The Mavic line is, is really such an iconic line at this point. It was the Phantom. Uh, everyone recognizes the Phantom, but the Mavic, just its portability, and then uh, recently it's just reliability, and it's the new camera systems. It's just, it's really like a, a gold standard for us right now. So uh, what's it going to cost, and uh, will we be able to buy this pretty soon? Yeah, so, uh, so this guy retails for six forty nine dollars in the U.S. Uh, right now we're kind of on hold, so we're hoping to deliver it in the next few weeks. It uh, really depends on uh, government shutdown uh, due to FCC filing. Um, so hopefully once that's uh, resolved, uh, we can get this guy out uh, to, to all the customers. Oh, politics is playing games with our drones. <laughs> yeah, no, no comment on that one. <laughs> all right, thanks a lot, Patrick. Appreciate yeah. it. Thanks for stopping by, man. You bet.